Question 11, translate, transformations. When you're doing the reflection, it's a mirror image. So first thing you need to do is draw the horizontal line y equals 2. So the horizontal line y equals 2 is a line that cuts through y at 2, and then that's going to be our mirror line. That's our mirror line. We're reflecting this below hand. So because that's 1 square above, we now leave a gap of 1 and draw our line, which is 2 across. It then goes up 3. So I'm now going down 3. And then I join them up to make the triangle, and that's the reflection in that line. Next question, how do I retain, how do I move S onto T? A translation means you move it across and up or down, and that's not in the same direction, so there's no translation. A reflection is like a mirror line, and that's not a mirror line wherever I would draw the mirror. What has been done is been twisted. So what I would do with this question is to find out how far it's been twisted. All right, I would draw the axis. I would then draw the shape on there. And I'm looking at it carefully and I'm thinking, hmm, it's been rotated this way. It's been rotated this way anti-clockwise. Let's see, that would be a quarter of a turn off zero. So it's rotated about the origin a quarter of a turn because what's happened is gone across one up three and then it's across three up one. So it's gone the opposite. So what I say here, so rotation about zero, zero, or I'll call that the origin of anti-clockwise, because it's going against the direction of the, all right, and 90 degrees, so anti to 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So it's an anti-clockwise rotation of 90 degrees about the origin.